right, we're back with Outside the Box. I'm Jeff Nyquist, your host, and I've got with me my special guest, Alavo de Carvalho, philosopher, author, columnist, broadcaster. He's from Brazil, and he has moved to the United States. Welcome to the show, Alavo. Thank you so much. People don't realize how courageous it is to stand up to leftist opinion when all of the people around you are leftists, when your country itself is taking leftist anti-American positions, and you, you, sir, have stood up for the United States in your country, Brazil. And uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, for many years I have been the only conservative columnist in Brazilian big media. And uh, because of that, I received death threats almost every day. So uh, at least I, I got tired and then came to the United States. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny, the intellectuals that are produced by universities, not only in the United States, but in other Western countries, there's just a lot of Marxists, there's a lot of people left of center, and there's a lot of anti-Americanism. Yes, in Brazil, this is uh, even worse than the United States, because here... You can say that the left dominates most of the universities, but in Brazil they dominate all the universities. Hmm, that's terrible. Well, perhaps you can tell our listeners a few things about Brazil so they'll understand the importance of Brazil and its previous relations with the U.S. Okay. Well, Brazil is a very large country with uh, 108 million inhabitants, uh, and it is usually the leading nation in Latin America. You know, the, the former American ambassador to Brazil, Lincoln Gordon, he used it to say, uh, wherever Brazil goes, Latin America will go too. Then uh, Brazilian and American relations have been usually good, except for four short periods during the military dictatorship when the Brazilian president, General Ernesto Geisel, followed a, a nuclear policy that was directly opposed to America's guidelines. Except for this period, the, the relations were very, very good all the time. Now there is a little difference. Hmm. Interesting. Does Brazil continue to be a reliable ally of the United States? Yes. The Brazilian governing party follows a double-faced strategy in its relation with the United States. In the economic field, it sides with the United States in order to keep a regular amount of American investments flowing to Brazil. But in the political field, it supports every anti-American initiative like the World Social Forum or the Venezuelan Revolution or the Colombian guerrillas. When uh, George W. Bush went to Brazil last year, he and the President Lula were exchanging smiles in the presidential palace while around the block, the governing party, Lula's party itself, acting under Lula's authority, the largest anti-American rally ever seen through all Brazilian history. Mr. Bush chose to ignore the second part of the show, and came back to the United States boasting that American relations with Brazil had never been better. Moreover, uh, Lula was founder and for 16 years the president of the large and most powerful anti-American organization in Latin America, the so-called São Paulo Forum. Mr. Bush also chose to ignore the very existence of this organization. Hmm. There is a second aspect here. Uh, Lula's uh, double-faced policy concerning the United States expresses, however, a deeper layer of strategical dualism. The present Brazilian government keeps the free market economy running at the same time that it builds a highly centralized power, destroying the opposition parties or forcing them to submission, fosters an anti-capitalist uh, ideology that criminalizes business as crude exploitation of the poor hmm. and strangles little business with high taxes. The final outcome of all this is that businessmen have no political power anymore. They depend on the government for their survival. Even the conservative businessmen have to make huge donations to the leftist parties because otherwise credit will be denied to them by the official banks and their companies will be subject to fiscal harassment. The Brazilian government uses capitalism as a tool to build socialism and good commercial relations with the United States as a means to fund anti-Americanism. Hmm. Now, the Brazilian government is supporting the communist insurgency in Colombia and the revolution in Venezuela led by Hugo Chavez. Yes, extraofficially it has been giving support to the Colombian communist uh, drug dealers hmm. for many years, protecting them. And this is them. President Lula da Silva's policy, or it's, it's something he's doing under, in an underhanded way? It's his own policy. 
He's he knows own. what he's doing. Yes. And and what is this? Because he was the founder of the Sao Paulo Forum, and the, the FARC, the Colombian narco guerrillas, uh, are members of the Sao Paulo Forum, which is the strategical coordination of Latin American communist parties. This is very. So they, they have the FARC has been submitted to the Lula's authority for 16 years. So the Sao Paulo Forum is the coordinating body for the communists in South America. Yes, yes, that that is it. 